A beautiful morning to you and welcome to the newspaper review right here at Prime Media TV. I am Treasure bringing to you the news review for today. And as always, I have lots of news to be reviewed with you. First of which is the ECOWAS break silence on protests over hunger in Nigeria and also reacts to Tinubu's speech. In a statement released on Tuesday, the ECOWAS Commission urged protest, protesters to heed the call for dialogue and peaceful resolution of their grievance. The body suppressed, expressed deep concern over the violence, fatalities, and property destruction that have marred the demonstration. The Commission extended condolences to the families of those who have lost their lives in the protest and expressed sympathy with Nigerian government and its people over the loss incurred. We've seen the response of the ECOWAS over the incidents, the protests that has occurred or that is in, 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 in motion in Nigeria. As we know that our dear Mr. President Bola Ahmed Tinubu is the chairman of the ECOWAS. And uh, all they can say about the killing you know one thing that shocks me is when they are talking about this killing they are not talking about what led to the killing who are the killers right because the protesters are not the one killing themselves protesters are not armed who is now killing or who are those killing the protesters nobody is talking about that when i heard or when i saw the news that the ECOWAS reacts. I was expecting that they are going to condemn the act. I was expecting that they are going to condemn the speech of Mr. President, regardless of the fact that he is the chairman of the ECOWAS. I was expecting that they will talk about him, you know, condemn his failure to address the agendas of the protesters. But nothing of such was heard from them. And I begin to wonder, does it mean that this man is beyond caution? You know, does it mean that nobody can call him to order? The people in Nigeria that is Kabas are not saying anything, you know, contrary from what he's saying. Nobody can man up to talk to him. And the people from the other countries are equally not saying anything. What is happening? A protest that was notified, that came with notification, a protest that 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 was planned and has agendas. The president came on Sunday to address the nation, and nothing was said about the agendas of this protest. All we see everywhere is the killing of citizens, killing of protesters by the people who are said to be protecting the life and properties of these same people. On Sunday, while he was making his broadcast, he talked about his oaths to protecting lives and properties of uh, Nigerians. But we see that this is not what is playing out in this case, because these people are not protesting against him. They are protesting against bad governance. These people are not saying they don't want him. They are saying they don't want bad governance. They don't want hunger. They don't. And of course, nobody, hunger is not a friend of anybody. Hunger is not a friend of anybody. It's not a political race. It's not an ethnic ethnic uh, race. It's not. It's not. It's not any, any a, a sentimental race. This thing, uh, th this protest is a product of realities, and uh, the president is not saying anything. His aides are not saying anything. The governors are not saying anything. The ministers are not saying anything. And now the echoers coming now are saying that the people should heed to the speech of Mr. President that could not and did not address any of the agendas. The ECOWAS are saying the people should withdraw from the protests and they go into dialogue. A dialogue that could have come before the protests. A dialogue that could have come, you know, weeks and days because there was notification, but nothing was done. The people were not taken serious. The, 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 the protesters were not taken serious. 
The Nigerian citizens were not taken serious. The demand of the people are not being considered. The welfare of the Nigerian citizens are not being considered. They are not being taken serious. Now the people are calling for dialogue. On the day after the sixth day, after the the, the, the fifth day of the protest, they are calling for dialogue. Well, I would like to hear your comment in our comment section. Is this dialogue they are talking about the right time to be talking about it? Is it the right thing to be done now? If the president has come to address the protest, the protesters in a time that life has been lost, in a time that so many places the, 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 the protest has, has resorted to something else in many states and nothing has been done and the president coming to address the citizens nothing was said about the lives nothing was said about the damages nothing was said about the agendas that were presented and now they are calling for dialogue to me i think this dialogue the, this call for dialogue is coming at the wrong time who do they want to dialogue with who do what what do they aim to achieve by their dialogue you know is, is, is this is it actually a dialogue they are calling for or a, a buy over do they want to buy the organizers of this protest do they want to to to, to arrest them because we've seen that most of the, the the protesters have been arrested which is contrary to the constitution because nigerian citizens of a country has the right to air their view all right so what are these what are they what is their intention for this dialogue they are calling for and i want to say that echoes their response to this protest and to the speech of Mr. President is is not is nothing to to is, is is not what it should be. They are not calling a spade a spade. They are not calling a spade a spade for them to talk about to acknowledge the fact that people has been killed in this protest and they are not condemning the act. They did not talk about the killers. The policemen killed these protesters. Policemen were seen shooting at peaceful protesters. Nothing is being said about that. Nobody is condemning that. And you're coming to tell the Nigerians to, to, to withdraw from the protest. Regardless of the fact that Mr. President came out to say something that is not address, addressing the situation, addressing the minds of the people. And ECOWAS will come out to tell the Nigerian citizens and the, the protesters to go back. It's, uh, it's not a good one from them. I don't know if they are afraid to tell Mr. President Bola Ahmed Tinubu to his face that he is wrong. I don't know if the ECOWAS board is, is afraid to call their man to order, regardless of the fact that he's their chairman. But I believe nobody should be above the law. So it is better they shouldn't, they, they, they didn't say anything than coming out to say the Nigerian protesters that people that are protesting and requesting for realities should go back. It is a very wrong thing from the ECOWAS. And uh, to me, I want to say, and Nigerians are saying that they are highly disappointed. So we'd like to hear your view, you know, on this. What the ECOWAS have said, their reaction to this, is it the right thing to do? Is it the right, uh, the, 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 the right statement to make? So we'll go on a quick break now till we come again. Please stay tuned.